What 3D printing procedures have the biggest ROI? Hey, I'm Dr. Chris Griffin, founder of the 3D Printing Association for Dentists, and this is the video series that helps you get 3D printing started in your practice. What are the three biggest ROI procedures that you can do in dentistry by 3D printing? That's a question that I get all the time because a lot of dentists are trying to decide, hey, is 3D printing for me or not, okay? So, um, so let's, let's, let's go through that. That's what we'll talk about today. And we've got some, you know, we've got, I've got a top three and I've got some honorable mentions, okay? So before we get started, um, real quick, just take a minute if, if this is the kind of content that interests you, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. It's, it's great for you to be able to find this content later on. It also helps other people find the kind, other dentists that are searching. And give us a thumbs up if you found this content helpful, okay? So let's go through, and I'm gonna count these down like three, two, one. So, so as far as biggest ROI for 3D printing in dentistry, number three, night guards, okay? Night guards are probably the simplest thing that you can do. When you start 3D printing, you pretty much buy your 3D printer, you scan a patient, you send a file. Usually, usually the 3D printing company would prefer you just to send a file to them. A lot of times they'll give you certificates to get free night guards. At least that's what's happening in the current state of dentistry uh, for a little while. Just uh, probably trying to get you hooked on their design services, but you scan them, send a file off, you get a file back, put the file in your printer, plug and play, it spits out a night guard, you polish it up a little bit, and boom, there you go. So they are a wonderful ROI. Uh, if you are the kind of dentist that does the really nice thicker acrylic uh, guards, then this is, the, this is an absolute no-brainer because you can cut your lab fee from whatever you're paying down to you know, five to 10 bucks per night guard. It's amazing. Of course, uh, you know, if you're not designed yourself, there's some design fees and you know, we could talk about how you design yourself. There's some cool softwares on how to design splints. There's a free software called Medit. Uh, you can do free designs with it. You can also purchase a, a really good software called D3 Splint. It can make amazing night guards. It's a very nominal fee. Anyway, night guards, super no-brainer. That's a good one. Number two, dentures, uh, especially immediate dentures or interim partials, what we call flippers. Those things are absolute no-brainers. You can cut your lab fee like me personally. I used to pay $383 for an immediate denture to my lab. And, you know, they did a good job, but, you know, a lot of times you don't even know if it's going to fit or not till you go to the mouth. Well, now, our immediate dentures, we're doing them for, you know, 15 bucks an arch as of right now in early 2023, right? So, so that's a huge savings. It's a big ROI. And also, it's a, one thing you don't think about when you think of ROI um, when a patient comes in and they're ready to do an implant case, say, but they have a bunch of teeth and you have to do an uh, interim denture in between, you can knock out a 3D printed interim denture, immediate denture, really quickly uh, and not delay the case at all. Go ahead and get them in the pipeline, let them start healing under that denture, and then come back and do the implants later. Or maybe you put the implants in and then you come back and, and finish the case later, but you've gotten it started. And that's a wonderful return on investment a lot of people don't think about when they think about denture. So it's not just a 383 you're saving per arch, it's also the ability to get a, get a case started so people are, are confident that you can help them and get them you know, on the road quickly, okay? So that's a good one. Now dentures require more effort to learn how to make uh, than a night guard, so you know, that's why it's not number one, I guess, because it is more difficult to make one of those. Um, before we, but number one, look, number one, is a clear no-brainer. In fact, if you're into 3D printing, if you care at all about a profit margin, this is what you need to be doing for sure in your practice, okay? And we'll talk about that just in a second, but real quick, if you would like to get a free resource that we've got um, on our website, the 3D Printing Association for Dentists, we are offering you guys free checklists for the top three procedures in 3D printing today. Uh, if you go to the website, it's 3dpa.org. You can find on the main page of the website uh, the checklist, the grab your free checklist. Go ahead and click that. We'll send them to you. It's three checklists and then a detailed video walkthrough for each checklist. So you're getting all that stuff totally for free. We just want you guys to get started 3D printing. It's our passion. We want it to be a part of your practice too. So number one, 
No question, clear aligners, okay? If you do clear aligners at all, you're currently probably paying a very large lab fee to get those made, whether it's Invisalign or Clear Correct or whatever. Even if it's a smaller company, you're still paying a lot. Um, clear aligners, we do so many cases in our practice, you know, it's, it's been a huge part of our practice going forward for the last couple of years. Um, and we're, we're doing anywhere, if we, if we design the case ourselves, it costs about a hundred bucks. If we farm out the design and have them send it back to us, it costs between two and three hundred dollars. And that's our total cost for the whole case. So you can now do clear liner cases for so much less, help your patients, and it's, it really is a huge profit center for the practice, increases your ROI like crazy. So get into clear aligners if you're gonna get into 3D printing, if, you're, if you care at all about ROI. And you probably do if you're watching this video. A uh, couple of honorable mentions. Um, you know, only because they're so brand new, permanent crowns, okay? So a permanent crown, you can make a permanent crown that you can now legally bill out according to all the articles you're reading today and the ADA news and all that stuff. A permanent crown uh, that qualifies for an APC code, you can make that now for less than 10 bucks. And you can make some really gorgeous ones. We're just now getting that started in my practice. I didn't want to rank it in the top three because, you know, who knows right now? But hey, if you've been pinched on margins, if you're being, the PPOs are just squeezing you to death, or if your labs are going up like crazy and, and your quality's suffering, learn how to do permanent crowns in your office. It's eventually gonna eclipse milling. I think it's gonna, there's no doubt, everybody that knows anything about the industry says that 3D printing will eclipse milling within the next five years. Why not go ahead and get ahead of the curve and learn how to do permanent crowns now? So that's my honorable mention. Uh, so there you go the biggest ROI procedures in dentistry. Uh, hopefully that helped. Hopefully that convinced you to get into this, guys, because I really believe in it, and I want you guys to put it in your practice too. So anyway, we'll see you at the next video. You guys get started and have a great time 3D printing.